Yo, what up, guys? B5D here coming to you with an update on the Noodle Pro. This is day 201, and today I just want to give you a short update about what we are going to be doing in the Python Fusion that is about to end. Yes, we are right now at the very, very last lap. That's why I thought I'd just give this update because after today, the next thing you see is the Noodle Pro fusing this champion or possibly saving it in a um, list of fusions till we actually need it because that this is not a champion i want to take with 60 immediately this is also not a champion that i want to use on my account instantly so of course i don't have the books to make it happen so when i finish this fusion this champion he will stay or she i don't forget i forgot what that champion is python will stay here amongst this is a he amongst this list of um um, fragment fusion that we have completed until we actually need it so i have only 10 more fragments to claim for python fusion so where are they going to be coming up from i'm going to go back to the calendar and show you that currently what is going on right now is classic arena 2 and the not someone rush where is it artifact enhancement 2 so those are the two events i'm about to complete now the artifact enhancement 2 is about to end i've already claimed what i needed from the spider so artifact enhancement 2 is what you know took my time yesterday and throughout today i thought i would take that opportunity to do the gear cleanse what gear cleanse all the dungeon we've been farming so far i went over here all the inbox that have been overflowing i went over there and did a deep cleanse so that means you have to actually take artifacts to four and eight right not actually building any champion but to take a lot of artifacts to four and eight even some artifacts to 12 to see if they're gonna be useful for the account or sold instantly so that's the gear cleanse that i did on the new to pro that took us from about 36 million silver to 33 million silver now that seems like not much of a gear cleanse because we also did at accessory um upgrades so originally this is the first or the main second time we are having opportunity to go over to the spider and farm accessories consistently so that gave us a lot of new accessories that i wanted to take to four and eight at least the ones that are worth it not all of them and then i sold some trash ones so i'll be doing a little bit of more upgrading right here sell a lot of the attack based ones and keep a lot of the defense based ones because it's all about the clan boss right and maybe some hp ones will be also kept so i'm not trying to overflow this one right now i'm not yet at my max of 1300 that's why it's still keeping me keep see me keep faster but right now once i hit my maximum of 1300 the four stars will all be sold i don't care whether they are single roll double rolls of main stats that i need but they will be sold because now i'm beginning to get good five stars from the accessories from the spider so that's something to consider right here the notes pro will do a lot of mod and the thing about spider or accessories is that once you're leveling them up to four and eight they do take a lot of silver compared to the um what do you call it the other artifacts where once you're leveling it four and eight and you sell them you get some silver back that doesn't work like that in the um what do you call it the accessories see this gave me trash and this is probably gonna be sold if i don't have a better hp um, main stats six star um ring for this faction so this is now a gear cleanse video to show you i just wanted to show you how the news to pro is spending our time right now and that's the reason why i don't yet have the five fragments that we could obtain from that artifact enhancement right there so we are doing it slowly let me show you the progress so far i know it's just a few hours before it ends but i'm confident i can complete it before i go to bed so that's why i'm doing it with accessories if i needed to complete it instantly i'll just take a gear to 16 and i'll just get that number of points but i don't want to do it right now the only champion that i might build i just upgraded my uh, heads artifact uh, extractor to see what we can do with Razen because Razen is the only champion we currently have that we want to build. I might also put some gear on Sealed Drake because today is the best day to do it, I guess. So Sealed Drake will get some stun set gear or some other set that we want to place on her if I don't have good stun set enough to put on her. So those are the two champions I'll build tonight before Artifact Enhancement ends or that will probably get us to the end of the Artifact Enhancement. So another thing about um, Razen that I should mention is that while there was nothing to do yesterday after we finished the spider tournament yes that was quite easy to do because of the super rates that was going on and our super team fasting that could do it in one minute or one minute 30 minutes with their nooks so i decided to spend the rest of my energy that was gonna expire or that was just laying around in the um mino 
so we did go into the mino and start farming but while i was farming it i was like this um fusion is already ending why don't i just farm it not with free to play energy but with also the rest of the gems i have so i did spend about 500 gems in the mino to get rising is full masteries i didn't want to wait till the fusion is done i know that's not a smart thing but i know the only thing that is left in this fusion is dragon and that's not something that will require us to spend gems to farm it it's just gonna be easy to do although we are doing it at level 24 and our speed team is slow but due to super rates we'll be able to complete that one fast so that's why i spent some gems today and rajin has full masteries i don't i've not yet done it yet because it's probably gonna go down normal you know rising way and come down but he's gonna go for a giant slayer so i'll do all that and maybe talk about him in a video when if i have him fully built for now he still doesn't have any gear right now so right after i finish recording this video i'll head over to the red artifact extractor and set up rising to be one of my clan boss champions and when the first keep is open again i will go back in there and farm from some force potions to get him up there all right i'll also maybe put some gear on these two champions even if i don't level the gear to full 16 because leveling one champion's gear to 16 will probably get me my maximum artifact enhancement points i need so i may just slap some gear on both of them and see what happens so all right that's the main update that the noob pro is um looking forward to completing artifact enhancement for sure so another tournament that was currently going on right now i mentioned was the um if i can remember it champion is it champion training no it's not champion training classic arena yes it's starting right now and i've started going in there and taking some teams down once one single defense teams and all that so that's um one that is going to be easy to complete it's not one that i have to do today so i'm f solely focused on the artifact enhancement but it's, if i see a single simple team here i do come in and i take the battle and i fight and then refresh again so slowly but surely we will complete that um um champion trade i mean what do you call it classic arena one it's quite quite easy so after those ones are done we are looking forward to starting dragon in a few hours time so once dragon starts we'll now use all the gear we we'll farm from this dragon and then sell it off and do another gear cleanse during this artifact enhancement it's quite awesome to watch the new to pro get so much silver that means our once this fusion ends our team for the clambers that we are looking forward to be building hopefully by then we'll have 40 million silver or 50 million silver hopefully that will be more than enough to get a full team of ultra nightmare clan boss team ready to go so that's one of the reasons why i'm not taking any champions to 16 right now i have a lot of nukas i have um, our new cfi i'm not leveling any other champions build or changing their gear right now the only only my clan boss team that i'm trying to build will get the high priority to get all their gear um speed tuned has the big thing about this thing so once the noob pro is done with this python fusion we'll head over to the clan boss with the help of, of that deadwood jedi's um clan boss calculator we'll be able to put together a spittoon team for ultra nightmare clan boss that is totally killable and now and then the noob pro would have achieved its mission so whether the team now will be a three key team four key team or slowly as better gear come down on our t on our um on our account it might possibly a two key team then then maybe one day a one key team of killable teams so we don't know yet we're just trying to make it possible before we be, be decide to know um how much crit rate and crit damage you can you know upgrade to do some more damage to that clan boss for now i just want to look at the possible champions that can make it happen that's what i'm trying to look at i'm not looking at how much gear how much and damage they can do i just want to look at whether it's successful run to be a ultra nightmare team that's the first priority all right i'll make that happen we have seven more days for this um python fusion to come around remember artifact enhancement is going to be, it's going to be the last one that ends on the 27th of um january for now we're still stuck doing classic arena dragon which is quite easy a lot of people pull their shards for this summon rush i wish you all good luck hopefully you got the 10x champions the duchess and all those champions brognies that were advertised or you are looking for including the sepulchre sentinel the Nutu pro did not touch any of its shard during this um summon rush so that's why we didn't post any shard pool video because we are saving everything so in terms of the shard department if i head over to that account you see 
how much we have there 14 ancient six void and one secret shard we're still letting that secret shard in the ultra nightmare um campaign just chill there we're not pushing for it right now so that's all the update i have for you guys tonight i just wanted to show you what the noob pro is up to in terms of the um fragment fusions or the fragments that we have so far for this um, um python fusion and what events that are coming up next where we have to uh, not even win but just finish it up to get the last 20 fragments we need all right you guys make sure you stay on top of it if you've missed out on anything remember you still have an opportunity to gain five extra fragments from classic arena and five extra from dragon tournament those are the two that are coming up that you could possibly possibly push a lot of gems into and catch up with and win some extra five fragments if you missed up on, on it or if you didn't have enough resources to finish summon rush or to get it from summon rush all right guys hit like in this new to pro update i just wanted to keep this one short and simple nothing special nothing crazy going on right now until we build rising and then that clan boss team is ready to showcase i know a lot of you guys are anticipating it and looking forward to it so watch out good night guys